Sark in here. I should probably turn on the lights with my cell phone. So all I have to do here is turn on the light and presto, we have light. And I did that through my cell phone, which is connected to Verizon Wireless, which then connects to my VPS in Chicago. We go over an open VPN tunnel to Buffalo and we connect to the wall through X10, home automation, and then we finally turn on the light. So how exactly did we do this? Well, if you come over here, we have this light switch here on the wall that's actually an X10 light switch. And behind the wall, there's lots of electrical modifications. So we can press it, no light, press it, we get light. We also have these other switches over here, which are wireless X10 switches. And we can press the power and we can also turn the light on. Of course, it's so dark in here that I need my cell phone to figure out how to turn on the lights. So I just got back from a very rigorous day at school. Not really, but we'll say I did. And I turn on the lights, get back, everything's bright for me before I even get here. This here works from anywhere in the world. So I just wanna show you a little bit about the control panel that I wrote myself. So here's the control panel. And basically what we have is a status link which gives us all the information about the lights in the house. So if I press status link here, trying to hold it steady for you, it actually gives me a status of everything in the apartment. Kitchen light is on, everything else is off. So what we're going to do is relocate to my room and I'm going to show you a little bit more about the system that I've built. As I come in, the lights are turning on because of my web control panel on my phone. So how exactly did this work? Well, I have a server here that's connected to my OpenVPN server in Chicago. So it has a public IP address and it runs Apache. Next, we connect to a USB cable that goes up and over the door and connects to the X10 home automation module that connects us to the wall. This thing here sends commands over the power line to a lamp module or power line modules. One's over there. You can't really see it, but it looks the same. So anyways, these here then get the commands and they turn the lights on and off or dim them or whatever I want. I can actually control dimming on my control panel also. But so we pan over, I'm going to get onto my monitor set up here. I'm a college student, so I still like to plop into chairs. And I'm going to press number six on my control panel. And my monitors come on, move the mouse a little bit, and my development environment turns on. I'm a big fan of Windows, although I use pretty much any operating system that I can get my hands on. So SSH window, change, all stuff that I typically use. Anyways, I have my web control panel on Chrome also. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something unique here and I'm going to turn the projector on and show you kind of like a lecture hall setting how the light stem and the projector turns on. My Mac has my website, although you probably can't see it from there. And this is connected to my projector through quick mounts which are here. So what we're going to do is click the power button as the cameraman pans over so that we can see what the projector brings up. So the projector here is turning on. And Famous Phil shows up on the wall. And now I can watch movies or whatever from my Mac laptop. And from there, I would also like to point out one more thing. When I go ahead and I turn the projector back on, here, or rather the projector off, what actually happens is the lights turn on. And how do we achieve projector control? USB UIRT module, which basically sends IR signals over to the wall, back to the projector. And with that, that's my light system in a whole. One other thing, 
My VPN server also serves as my phone system, which is here. This is actually a Linksys PAP adapter, which does SIP tunneling for telephone service. Here's a telephone. So with that, OpenVPN has been very helpful for me for making stuff work that needs open access to the internet. And thanks for watching as always, famousco.com.